The World Games are coming in July of 2022. Sumo, softball, lacrosse, sport climbing, powerlifting, and more. This is the new generation of sports. Tickets are on sale. Buy today at TWG2022.com. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 12th of August. I'm James Spann, Alabama's weather. Sun, heat, scattered storms will stay that way through the weekend. And, of course, eyes are on Fred, a struggling tropical depression this afternoon. There is the upper air look across the country today, ridging here across the deep south, the mid-latitude westerlies, well to the north, a classic look for mid-August. Visible satellite view. You can see the sky partially sunny across the state with various pockets of convection. That was the radar composite around 2.30. Rain falling over southwest Alabama, northwest Alabama, and some of the eastern counties. As usually is the case, some locations getting drenched, others with a good supply of sunshine. Temperatures below average today, mostly 80s on the board at 2 o'clock. Birmingham 88, 91 in Centerville, Anniston 82. Around the nation, heat advisories just north and west of here, back up into the northeast United States. Flash flood watches for parts of Arizona, New Mexico, and around El Paso, Texas, and also some heat issues back in the Pacific Northwest. Got a chance of severe storms through tonight from the Great Plains up into the northeast, including an enhanced risk over parts of Ohio and Pennsylvania. Tomorrow, a chance of severe storms, a low-end marginal risk from near Tulsa and Oklahoma City up into the northeast U.S., just north of Alabama. Also a slight risk around uh, the western high plains. And on day three, which is Saturday, a marginal risk over the southern tip of Florida as Fred passes by. Rain for the next seven days, a lot of rain for the southwest, Arizona, and New Mexico with the monsoon flow. Here in the southeastern states, the better rains will likely be east of Alabama. Based on the current track of Fred, uh, rain amounts most of the state between one half and one inch. Heavier totals across Georgia, the Carolinas, and the Florida Peninsula. So in the tropics, uh, first off, let's take a look at Invest 95L. That's the system between the Lesser Antilles and the coast of Africa. A 60% chance of becoming a depression or storm in the short term. Now a high chance over the next five days. Here's a look at modeling on Invest 95. This one seems to want to take a little higher latitude track compared to Fred. And if these models verify, it would likely stay north of Puerto Rico, north of Hispaniola, maybe coming up toward the Bahamas, or maybe a recurve. Uh, but again, we'll keep an eye on that. This is the intensity guidance on 95L. Most models bring it up to a tropical storm. A couple of outliers bring it up to a minimal hurricane. Just way out there, something to watch for now. Of course, Fred is the other story. It is a disorganized mess, a tropical depression that's sitting on the north coast of Cuba. And again, it's going to struggle over the next 24 hours with its proximity to land. Uh, here's the latest NHC track. They do bring it back to a tropical storm, moving it in near Apalachicola late Sunday night or early Monday. There's a tropical storm. Uh, this is the model set shifting a little bit to the west. Uh, this is the ATCF set, and this is the GFS. We note some of the members just dissipate this thing uh, and really don't bring much at all up this way. And that's the big question, can this thing survive? This is the intensity guidance, and uh, you can see no models bring it to hurricane strength. A number of models do not develop this, and a few bring it back up to a tropical storm. So uh, if it hangs on, it looks like it will be mainly just a rainmaker for parts of the southeast United States, the way it looks now. So let's go through the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4, troughing well to the north. And again, same old story, low 90s, partly sunny, a few scattered showers and storms. Saturday, no change. Sunday, again, a mix of sun and clouds with scattered showers and storms. Uh, the high Sunday, 87 to 90. And again, there is a weak, broad surface low in the eastern gulf that would be Fred. And Monday, that basically comes in as just an open trough, uh, not really a tropical storm on Monday, producing uh, maybe a better coverage of scattered showers and storms here across the deep south. But again, we're just having a hard time finding any model that wants to bring this up to a, a significant tropical storm at this point. But again, we stress this could change. Uh, this is Tuesday. We have deeper tropical moisture, so scattered to numerous showers and storms. Same thing Wednesday of next week. And this is a week from today, Thursday the 19th. Again, ridging here and a fairly moist air mass. So some sun, scattered showers and storms. We'll go out 10 days. This is Sunday, August the 22nd, 591 Ridge just to the north. And what could be Grace, that's that uh, Invest 95L, 
uh, showing up east of Florida in the Atlantic. Uh, but we note the European showing nothing out there. And, of course, there's absolutely no way of knowing what Invest 95 is going to do uh, this far in advance. Just something to watch. Rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. The mean between 3 and 4 inches now between now and the 28th of August. High should be in the low 90s through Sunday, mostly upper 80s next week. And hot off the presses, the brand new CPC Outlook. This is for August 20th through August the 26th. And if this works out, temperatures here would be a little above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.